Hello my dear students how are you i hope all of you are fine and staying at home safely this is your teacher nasim ahmed from ideal public school kathigura so today i am here for class 5 so today we will be doing mathematics and in the previous video we have done chapter number 3 exercise b and we have done up to question number 5 and today we will be continuing the chapter and we will be finishing the exercise okay so without any further ado let's get started so students in the previous video we have done up to question number 5 of this exercise question number 5 this was the last uh, question that we have done from from question number 6 we will be doing uh, in in today's video okay so let's see the sixth question of this exercise so students before starting this question i would like to say that if you have not seen the first video of this uh, this chapter okay so go uh, go watch that video first and then come back to uh, this video and watch the rest of the video okay so without watching that video the first video uh, you will uh, you do not uh, watch this video okay because uh, on that video i have uh, said some tips with which you can easily uh, find the solution of this kind of questions okay so let's start the sixth question the question says a factory produced uh, 10567 cycles in the first year 15995 cycles in the second year and 21771 cycles in the third year how many cycles did the factory produce in 3 years so this simple uh, th uh, this question is very much easy uh, as you can see by just reading the question you see a factory which produces cycle okay bicycle that you uh, that you ride okay while coming to school or you can see your father or anybody like from your village or anybody nearby uh, who rides the bicycle okay so this kind of cycles the, this factory produces and uh, it says in the first year they produced 10567 so this one important point then you have 15995 cycles in the second year and 21771 cycles in the third year so the question is you have to find the total amount like total number of cycles that this factory produces in 3 years okay so that that means you need to add the three numbers okay so <clears throat> let's see how i uh, find this uh, how i write the solution okay students so just see the uh, see the solution here you see i have written number of cycles produced in the first year from the question i have written it okay from the question i have written it in the first year it has this much number of cycles in the second year this much and the third year this much then i have written in the three years factory produces so i will add all the three numbers okay so here you have <clears throat> 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 7 is 13 3 1 will be in hand okay 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 6 16 16 plus 7 is uh, 23 3 2 will be in hand okay then you have uh, 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 7 is 14 14 plus 9 is 23 3 2 will be in hand then you have 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 8 then 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 4 so this is the total number of cycles that the factory produces in 3 years so this is the end of this question let's see the next question okay students so let's jump into the next question the seventh question say the number of males females and children in a country was 35 crore 40 lakh 34570 then 33 crore 11 lakh 50122 and 1 crore 23 lakh 45678 respectively find the total population of the country so ye jo question hai question kya bol raha hai ki ek ek country hai jahan pe male female and children ka jo uh, total number of persons rehte hai like female kitna hai yahan pe pehla jo number diya gaya hai wo male ka hai and uh, dusre pe hai hamara female so female hum ye second mein jo number diya gaya hai ye number of females hai and uh, number of children uh, ye kya hai ye third wala jo number diya gaya hai so ye maine kaise samjha ये जो वर्ड है रेस्पेक्टिवली रेस्पेक्टिवली मींस जो नंबर जो सीक्वल पहले दिया जाता है लाइक like यहां पे मेल पहले दिया गया देन फीमेल देन चिल्ड्रन उसी सीक्वल के हिसाब से यहां पे जो नंबर्स दिया गया है ये पहला वाला नंबर ये, ये दूसरा वाला ये तीसरा वाला सो so, पहला वाला मेल होगा ठीक है एंड दूसरा वाला क्या है यहां पे फीमेल है सो so, ये नंबर जो है ये फीमेल का होगा 
एंड चिल्ड्रेन का होगा ये तीसरा वाला ओके सो ये वर्ड से हमको समझ में आ गया सो अभी क्या करना है वी नीड टू फाइंड द टोटल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द कंट्री फॉर दैट वी जस्ट नीड टू एड द थ्री नंबर सो बेसिक थिंग ओके टोटल मीन्स यू नीड टू एड ओके देर इज नो प्लेस ऑफ सब्सट्रेक्शन हेयर ओके सो लेट सी हाउ आई राइट द आंसर ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी द सोल्यूशन पहले जो द नंबर ऑफ मेल्स है उसको मैंने लिख लिया देन आफ्टर दैट आई हैव रिटर्न द नंबर ऑफ फीमेल्स देन आई हैव रिटर्न द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन नाउ व्हाट आई नीड टू डू आई नीड टू एड द थ्री नंबर्स ओके सो यू सी एट प्लस टू इज टेन जीरो वन विल बी इन हैंड सेवन प्लस वन एट प्लस प्लस अच्छा उसको ऐसे कर लेते हैं सेवन प्लस सेवन इज फोर्टीन प्लस वन फिफ्टीन प्लस टू सेवनटीन सेवन वन विल बी इन हैंड ओके फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन सेवन प्लस सिक्स इज थर्टीन थ्री वन विल बी इन हैंड फोर प्लस वन फाइव प्लस फाइव टेन वन विल बी इन हैंड देन यू हैव थ्री प्लस वन फोर फोर प्लस फोर एट एट प्लस फाइव थर्टीन थ्री वन विल बी इन हैंड देन यू हैव वन प्लस वन टू देन टू प्लस थ्री इज फाइव देन यू हैव फोर प्लस वन फाइव प्लस टू सेवन देन यू हैव फाइव प्लस थ्री एट प्लस वन नाइन थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स so this is the number of people total number of people uh, that that uh, this country has okay uh, by adding the three numbers the, uh, we have found this is the total number of people okay total number of population we, uh, we can say total number of population okay of that country so this is the end of this question let's see the next question let's see the eighth question to establish a factory a businessman purchased a land for 95 lakh Forty thousand two hundred ninety rupees. He spent sixty six lakh ninety five thousand two hundred five on construction and ninety five lakh eighty thousand nine hundred eighty four purchasing machine. How much money did he spend in in all? So this question is also pretty much easy. Uh, from the question, what we understand, there is a person, there is a businessman. Okay, what he has done, he has purchased. That means he has spent the money. Okay, the money he has. So <clears throat> on purchasing land. and on purchasing land he spent this much amount of money so this money uh, this number is related with purchasing of land then you have uh, construction for construction he has spent this much 66 lakh 95205 this much amount of money he has spent on construction and after that he has for purchasing machines for his uh, factory in the factory we see that uh, there are machines okay first of all there is a place and then you have a house a big house that is called as factory and inside that you have machines which produces uh, any goods or anything uh, which we use in the, in our daily life okay so this is actually factory is so in the factory there are three components we can say these are the three components uh, not only three components but there are so many others so among them there are three components so for doing uh, for making a or establishing a factory the the businessman has uh, spent this much amount and this much this much this three amount of uh, money is on uh, on this uh, on these three components we can say so the question is how much did he spent in all so us sab ko mila ke kitna hua hai theek hai how much did he spent in all so in all that means sab ko mila ke आपको लिखना है सो दैट मीन्स यू नीड टू एड द नंबर ओके सो लेट सी हाउ हाउ वी डू दिस सो स्टूडेंट्स यू सी फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर द बिजनेस मैन स्पेंड ऑन परचेसिंग लैंड दिस मंच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी देन फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ही हैज स्पेंड दिस मंच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी एंड ऑन परचेसिंग लैंड दिस मंच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी एंड नाउ हट आई नीड टू डू आई जस्ट नीड टू एड दैम सो आई हैव सेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑल्सो बिफोर डूइंग दीज क्वेश्चन वट यू नीड टू डू यू यू नीड टू मीन्स यू नीड टू लर्न हाउ टू एड लार्जर नंबर बेसिकली एंड हाउ टू सब्सट्रेक्ट दैम ऑल्सो okay so here in the last uh, like three questions we have just added them uh, in later in the uh, later num uh, later in the later questions we have to subtract them also so we should we should know how to add and subtract large numbers okay so you see <coughs> here we will add them okay so 5 5 here 0 0 then 5 it will be 5 only then you have 9 plus 8 is 17 1 will be in hand Then you have two plus two four plus one five five plus nine is fourteen one will be in hand. Then you have five plus one is six. Okay. Then you have uh, nine. Um, here you have six only. Okay. So four four plus eight is twelve. Twelve plus nine is twenty one. One two will be in hand. Then you have uh, five plus five ten. Ten plus six is sixteen. Plus two is eighteen. 
one will be in hand then you have 9 uh, plus 1 10 plus 9 is 19 plus 6 is 25 okay so this is the amount of money that that businessman has spent on purchase or on or like in all that much amount of money he has spent so what is the number what will you say 2 crore 58 lakh 16,475 okay so <clears throat> this is the end of this question let's jump into the next question students this is the ninth question the question says in a town there are three public libraries the total number of books in these libraries are 5 lakh 62,000 740 find the number of books in the third library if the first and second libraries have 1 lakh 20,970 and 2 lakh 60,730 books respectively here also this respectively word is used so here uh, from the question what we understand a total like like the total number of books in three libraries okay there are three library libraries in a town and uh, the total number of books in these libraries is this much okay 5 lakh 62,740 and it, it, uh, it says that further it says in the first and second library okay so if if the question is like if I say if I write here uh, A B C these three libraries libraries A B C these three libraries are uh, in a town okay and this a is the first library b is the second library c is the third library so this library has uh this library has this one one lakh twenty thousand nine hundred seventy one lakh twenty thousand nine hundred seventy then b library has b library has two lakh sixty thousand uh, seven hundred so these two uh, libraries has this much and this much number of books okay but we don't know about number C and we know about the aggregation like how much in total the number of book is okay so how will you find we just need to add the, the two numbers and we need to subtract the number from the whole number okay the total number so by this way we can find this C like uh, how much how much books this library has okay so let's see how we find the solution so students for the solution i have written the number of books in the first library then the number of books in the second library now i will add both the numbers okay so 0 plus 0 is 0 7 plus 3 is 10 0 1 will be in hand 9 plus 1 10 plus 7 is 17 1 will be in hand 0 plus 0 is 0 here 1 is there so 1 2 plus 6 is 8 then you have 2 plus 1 is 3 so this is the number of books in first and second libraries like, like this is the addition of both the uh, both the means number of books of the libraries okay students so you see total number of books in the three libraries so this is the total number of like by adding the three numbers that I get is this much and number of books in the third library so I will subtract this number that we have found here uh, here total number of books in the second and first library so this number will subtract from the total number okay so <clears throat> the number of books in the third library so we'll do the subtraction 0 minus 0 is 0 4 minus 0 is 4 7 minus uh, 7 is 0 then we have 2 minus 1 is 1 we cannot subtract 8 from 6 what we do we just borrow 1 from this 5 it will become 4 and it will become 16 okay so 16 minus 8 is 8 here you have 4 minus 1 is 4 minus 3 is 1 so this is the number of books in the third library okay this much books so i hope you have understood this question so let's remind this question again okay how we have done it there are three libraries okay a b and c three libraries are there we know the number of books like in aggregation like by adding three numbers like three number of books okay we know this much amount of books are there and we know in the first and in the second library the number of books of first and second library we know but we don't know the third one so what we do we just add the first and second uh, numbers and then we subtract these number from the addition of like from the total number we can say so by this way we find the solution and this is the number of books and after, uh, after that we finish the answer okay 
so let's see the next question so students this is the last uh, last question of this exercise this question says the sum of two number is uh, 67 crore 35 lakhs 79,845 one of them is 49 crore 27 lakh 98,546 find the other this is also a very simple question okay so <clears throat> Two numbers are there so like the earlier one we'll do it okay so two numbers suppose a and b both are the uh, both are numbers okay a and b are two numbers and when we add both the numbers then we get this 67 crore 35 lakh 79,845 and one of the numbers suppose a number is this much 49 lakh 49 crore 27 lakh 98,546 but we don't know the second number okay so find the other so we need to find this b so how we do we just subtract this number from the sum of the two numbers and this is what this is just this number suppose okay then if we subtract uh, this 49 crore uh, 27 lakh from this number then you will find this other number okay so let's see how we do it so students for the solution how we do it we i've just written the sum of two numbers is this much and number uh, one of the number is this one okay so this is i'm getting from the question okay so here i need to subtract the numbers so for that uh, i need to subtract like uh, from six from five we cannot subtract six so i borrow one from this four it will become three and it will become 15. so 15 minus six is nine okay then 3 and here also uh, this number we cannot subtract okay from 3 what we do we just borrow 1 from this one this will become 7 this one become 13 so 13 minus 4 is 9 again then you have 7 minus 5 is 2 9 minus 8 is 1 and you have 7 minus 9 we cannot do so we just borrow 1 from here it will become 4 it will become 17 so after that what you have 17 minus 9 is 8 okay then you have 4 we cannot do we cannot subtract 7 from 4 so i borrow 1 from here it will become 2 it will become 14 so it will be 7 so here you have 2 minus 2 is 0 then you have 7 we cannot do so i borrow 1 from this 6 it will become 5 it will become 17 then you have 17 minus 9 is 8 then lastly we have 5 minus 4 is 1 so this is the other number okay so how we have done we have just subtract the number uh, the number from the, the the sum of two numbers so by this way we find this number the number is 18 crore 7 lakh 81,299 so this is the end of this chapter we can say this is the end of this chapter so i hope you have understood my explanation and if you have any doubt regarding the explanation or anything you can directly call me in the number uh, these number are given in the uh, in, in your school app okay or uh, you can message me or you can means contact me anyhow so <clears throat> study hard at your home because after that you have exams and you have to be prepared for exams okay so just study hard and if you have any doubt regarding anything you can ask me uh, i will i will provide you any kind of help so without any anything else i am just signing off god bless